Hey everyone, Katie here, and today um, Animal Jam has brought out this really cool update thing. Um, basically, if you didn't know, there was a timer over the ice, and there is now a huge hole in it. <laughs> um, here's the cutscene of what actually happened. Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh my, my screen is violently shaking. What the heck? What? <laughs> oh, Phantom Ice Caverns? What the heck? Uh, so I'm editing this right now and I got way too excited. Well, not that this isn't cool, but I was screaming. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, adventures. I don't want you guys to hear me girls screaming about. Oh, <laughs> so I'll just like continue with the thingy. Uh, yeah, that happened. So basically now there's a game here. So to access this game, you're going to want to go onto this little ledge here and just click it. As you can see, there's two squads right now, but you can all always start your own. When you start your own, you can set it to all players, buddies only, or your pack only. So I'm just going to set mine to all players at the moment and start one. And you'll just wait for people to join. I recommend doing 12 out of 12, definitely, because it takes a good amount of work. So make sure that you get 12 out of 12 people. Now that we have gotten 12 out of 12 people, I will hit the start game button and it counts down like a pack run. And then we are shown and go into this weird ice cavern with this huge thing around it. On If you're on computer, you will, can move with the WASD keys and if you're not, you can always move with this thing over here. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go up to a phantom and you're going to want to pull this thing back, whether it be with your finger or your mouse. Now, every time the phantoms do this little burst thing, it actually lets out a bit of some jelly stuff. This jelly stuff will encase you like it did this jammer and you have to get, you can do it yourself, but you can also get your friends to help you get out of it because it takes a second. So basically what you are doing at the moment is looking for pieces of this cannon to recover. Um, there you get gear parts and you're trying to recover these cannons so that you can get the big phantom at the top. What I recommend doing is going around the map and seeing if you can find a phantom that has one encased inside of it. The best thing to do is do this on a call with friends, honestly, because then you guys know where you should go. But this, this little red thing right there is actually a part of the cannon. It also gets carried up by a little alpha drone. The other cannon part is are these gears over here. If you see one of these, just fight the phantom and it shouldn't take too long and just grab it. There's also this little turbo button up here and it makes you go faster when you're just like walking around the thing going to the places where there is a part. There's only one more part to this cannon and I think it's up here. Yep, there it is. And grab it and now we have built one cannon up. So you see it hits the guy in the eye or whatever and they destroy the cannon again and look at this i've already gotten the ancient tail but this is an ancient amulet now if you didn't know that's actually stuff implying with um belush in animal gym classic i'm pretty sure so that's pretty cool so basically you can revive these cannons more than once and there's a timer of four or five minutes so just make sure that you keep that in mind while you're doing this Oh, also, here's what it looks like to get encased in jelly. You just tap yourself and yeah. Hurry, it's getting too cold. So basically, that little thing comes up when there's a minute left. Oh, yay, we did it one more time. Okay, fixed it. And now we have a trick-or-treat jump scare. <gasps> what is that? Oh my gosh, that's Cali. Now, there seems to be a glitch with the little things. I'm guessing if you're encased in it while it's doing the thing, then... So there's eight seconds left. Not really anything else to do because there's no way we're going to get all of the cannon parts in time. But there we go. Um, there's also, you can recover candy. And this is like that trick-or-treat thing there. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I guess that's kind of a full guide to it. Um, honestly, the tips and tricks are try and stay in a group because it's easier to defeat the each phantom with one to two people rather than just, you know, doing it by yourself. Um, try and get a full lobby, whether you do it with your friends, doing it in a live stream. It's, 
it's just better with a full lobby and collect these really cool Juno pieces. Um, I have the ancient tail and the ancient amulet. So that's pretty cool to be honest. I also seemed to have gotten forgotten to mention that when you first defeat like when you first defeat the thing there is a Juno statue that you get and it shows how many cannons you've defeated. This is kind of like the little things we got last year um like a phantom hunt plaque that I got and also for the Christmas phantom thing I got something I kind of forgot it what it was called. It's some type of statue. <laughs> so if that ma doesn't make any sense, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, it just shows how many you have fought and defeated. And you know, it's just a token that I was here in 2020, you know. And it's also Juno. Belouche much. You know, kind of corresponds with the set pieces. I hope we get Belouche. That's... Belouche is so pretty. Well, I think that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. I certainly think this is such a cool update. I'd really like to know your intel on it as well. So, yeah, I hope you all have an awesome day, stay snazzy, and jam on. Bye!